Well, hello! Hello! How I missed you once again! Ah, you are the sunshine of my life. If there was any sunshine in hell, which there isn't, but thinking about you is probably equivalent to that. So, I missed you a lot, and uh, how do I, how, how to flirt? I do not know how to flirt, but I just think that you are quite amazing. <laughs> well, now that's out of the way, we should celebrate. Because we are reunited once again. So, maybe I should break out into song and dance once again? No, no, no. You, you kind of hate those, don't you? Or maybe you love them. Who knows, but... But I certainly do love breaking out into dance. Well, now, it, it's no big deal. We don't have to, like, break into song and dance all the time. It, it, it just doesn't have to be all the time. I just, I was just suggesting that maybe uh, that I, I'm too happy that you're here, so I just wanted to, like, you know, sing a song and, you know, celebrate. But it's okay if you do not want to do that. It's alright, it's like, oh, damn. Damn, listener. Back at that again. Damn. You got the whole squad laughing. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm happy to see you. And give me a little snuggle. How I miss you so much. Life isn't the same without you or technically death since we're in hell. But you know. You know the drill. Ah. My oh my. I've never felt this warm in my entire life. I guess this is your effect on me. How dare you give me feelings and emotions. My true purpose here is just to take over everything and watch. People of hell try to change for the better, but ultimately fail. But you're here giving me a heart and, em and s emotions. That is quite weird. That is quite odd. Am I gonna do anything to change it? No, because I love you. There, I said it. I love you. With all my... Beating red or black heart. I I don't know. I don't know how my anatomy works. Uh, um, uh, yeah. So I missed you. <sighs> I was just counting the days, the hours, the minutes, the seconds. While you were gone, so I could just find you again, once again. I mean, I could just, you know, just, you know, show up anytime, but I am a traditional being of hell, and I would love to, like, not just appear out of nowhere, but to see you in a natural sort of way without. You know, suddenly surprising you, so uh, we schedule our meetings and our dates, and here we are. Two magnificent beings together. Oh, they will write about us someday in some sort of poem or novel, or some biography, or documentary. The documentary of Alistair the Radio Demon. Slash radio daddy and his beautiful, gorgeous, sexy listener. That's you. And I can't wait till we leave a legacy of how true love should be. We 
are the ideal lovers. If, you know, you believe in that kind of stuff, but I, I like to think that we are some sort of soulmates, if you will. Um... Uh, I'm not usually this type of... But I don't know. I, I don't usually talk about love in this matter. Uh, I, I never thought that I would... I could actually love or show emotions and feelings, but here you are, messing up with my mind and my heart. Well, technically not my heart. Your heart can't feel emotions. It's it's in your brain, your hep- hypothalamus, hypothalamus, I don't know which part of your brain causes you to show emotions, attraction, and so on and so forth, but your heart is just something that pumps blood. Anyway, enough with the science facts, I just want you to know that I am your radio daddy, if you ever need one. Oh, I could just be your regular old radio sweetie. If you want to be a bit naughty, you could always ask the radio daddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I was just messing with you. Ah, uh, but ah, <laughs> uh, you, you were considering it, weren't you? <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't consider it? Because I mean, just look at me. <laughs> Am I not? A fine specimen. This is what the ideal male should look like. Antlers. Pale skin. Sounds like they swallowed a radio at birth. But anyway. Anyway. Enough about the amazing old me. More about the perfect you. Even if you weren't perfect, I'd still think you are the perfect one for me. I've said perfect way too many times, but you know, um, yeah. I am thankful to have you in my life. Death, whatever. Hell is confusing, alright, I hate everything here. I, I wish I could just destroy everything. But you don't want that. You actually like it here. You want people to change for the better. I disagree, but fine, we'll have it your way, but I'll be observing, watching, eating popcorn as hell's worst try to change for the better to ultimately fail. Ah. No, maybe you should hold my hand right now. I believe couples do that to show affection, and I'm feeling quite affectionate right now. So, would you hold my hand? I would love to hold your hand. If that's not too much for you, a hee hee, oo woo, a wow, xd, roar. I believe that's what the kids say these days. <laughs> See, I can be a hip radio daddy. Well, this is quite sweet. Only thing we need now is stars. If only there were stars in hell, but maybe I could try and make one using my powers. I could toss someone in the air and just, you know, zap them until they explode, but then there'll be a shower of blood. Uh, hmm. Never mind with that idea. This, this right here, is enough. Just you and me together. Separable and stuck like glue. Well, how does it feel? Ain't it a bit sweet? <laughs> Got both my hands on my chin and my knuckles on my cheeks. Just observing.
how beautiful you are. Christ the pretty. Pretty. And did I say pretty person you are? I am the luckiest radio demon alive to have you. Well, I'm the only radio demon alive, I mean. I mean, Mama Alistair and Papa Alistair are no more. Unless Beefy Pop changes that. I, I, I don't know. She's in charge with the lore. I don't know. I could be. I could, I could be a rock star the next day or a baker. Who knows? The possibilities. As long as the writers write me right. I hope they do. Because I had the potential to be the star of the show. Not Charlie. Charlie's ridiculous. With her singing and dancing and. Oh, I do that too? Huh, you, know, you are right. Um, you're quite right. Um, need some time to process that. Process that. I will process that. My THs are messing up because I'm a radio demon. Well, I now just realized I have more in common with Charlie than I think. I don't know if I should be happy with that, because I guess we're associates or more or less friends. Or I should be sick of that since she thinks so highly of reform in hell, but I'm just watching them, you know, fall down from their attempts to be good. But enough about that. You're a cutie. How's life? Tell me about it. I can't. I've been dying to hear about your life. Well, I can't be dying because we're already in hell. I'm already dead, so well, that means we're double dead. Uh, I should stop talking to Angel Dust about these weird thoughts. Anyway, you were saying. Uh huh. Quite the adventurous life you lead. I'm quite jealous. You. 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 Why, oh, you are amazing. You are quite the inspiration in my life. The heart to my soul. If that makes any sense, I've been trying to learn how to flirt from Angel Dust, so. More or less, give me a break here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm happy. I am quite happy to be with you. I've already said that, but I mean it. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. But what I wanted to say that I didn't practice for or anything is that. disagree on some views but I wouldn't love you if you had any different views or if you were a different person be proud of who you are always especially here in hell where there's a bunch of cycles around it's always good to stick to your roots so you can pull out the roots of others and any consolation I will be by your side through thick and thin through the deepest fires of hell I mean we're already in hell so you know no problemo Sibo play no problem please that's what I wanted to say but you know I just mixed two languages and it's quite ridiculous haha but I loved you. I shiteru. Te amo. Mahal kita. And everything that means I love you in all languages because I'm too lazy to look everything up in Google Translate. 
I love you. And if anyone ever tries to mess with you, I will beat them until they are but a tiny little smudge on the dirt. But anyway, give me a snuggle. So sweet. I love it when you cuddle with me. It is the best feeling in the world. <sighs> I got you this stuff toy. It is a wolf. Because I wolf you. I wolf you. I wolf you. Ow, ow, ow. I mean, I can't howl really loud right now because there's a bunch of. You know, wolf people in hell, and if they hurt, hurt me trying to impersonate them, I, 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 I'm just saying I'm a deer, they're wolves. I mean, I'm still powerful, but still, the thought of wolves chasing me is quite horrific, if you know what I mean. Plus, you are here, and I am here to protect you, always. Well, we should have dinner soon. I wonder what we should eat. Such a wide array of food and hair we have. McDonald's. KFC. Jollibee. Burger King. I have. TGI Fridays in hell. A bunch of other restaurants. Don't don't ask why. There's a there's a bunch of fast food chains in hell and a bunch of restaurants. I don't know either. I, I'm not Charlie's there. You ask him. <laughs> but anyway, oh, we could just cook like the usual. You you like my beef stroganoff, right? Or maybe we can make some instant noodles because I'm lazy. Huh? and chill <laughs> yeah yeah mm. <laughs> come on come on come on poke 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 I love you I love you very very much I woof you I woof you is it getting hot in here Oh, is it you? Never mind. It's hell. It's always hot here. It's so godforsakenly hot here. Ooh. When I take over as ruler of hell and beat the living crap out of Charlie's dad, I will install an air conditioner around hell. Don't ask how it will be possible. I will make it possible because I am Alistair the Radio Demon. I can do anything in this world. <sighs> you know, I should be watching the hotel right now because it's my turn. It's my shift. Charlie's gonna kill me, but don't worry, I got my boy Husker on the case to provide me an alibi. As long as I don't run to any of Charlie's friends will be fine. So let's go. Let's go. In the words of someone from South Park, screw you guys, we're going home. So, hell flicks and chill. Ah, oh, come on, give me a snuggle. I'm kidding. Ha ha ha. I'm just joking. Joking. I love you. Through all the good and the bad sides of you, I will always love you. Come here. Oh!
Ah, uh, hello there, my fellow. How are you doing? I've quite missed you. Having you around has been the joy of my life. Though, I must say, where have you been? Well, aside from in my heart, I have been wondering, what have you been up to recently? Because, I just don't know, where, where, where on earth have you been? Oh, me? Well, I may be going overboard with a little murder here and there, but we're demons, for Pete's sake! We do this for a living! It's quite fun. Why do you have to be such a goody two-shoes like Charlie? Do I have to? Break out in song and dance again for you? We have a dream, wish to tell. Ah. Well, beautiful. I guess it's time for us to spend some time together once again. Just like the old days. Oh, how I've missed your company. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. You're, just not, you're not just gonna walk beside me. Of course, I must wrap my arm around you and maybe hold your hand as well. Oh, how romantic. Uh, it just makes my red and black heart actually feel like I have a sense of humanity. Ah, you have that effect on me. Must never lose that trait because it's a rare thing. As Charlie says, we demons need a little bit more humanity. But I don't believe her. I think that every demon will just fall back into their old ways and hurt each other. <laughs> oh, have I? How I've missed you. Oh, give me a little snuggle right here. Oh, how I've missed this feeling. You're my, like my little cream puff. My little snuggle buddy. Ah. Let's just enjoy this moment together. A little moment of silence for our snuggles. Well, it's time to get to work. We need to return to being partners in crime. I've missed you so much. I've said it so many times, but I've missed you. 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 And we have got work to do. The whole world must see us, the glorious couple. We shall be the face of hell. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, ah, I can feel it now. The spotlight on us. It's like what you see on the picture show. Those lovey-dovey romances. Oh, they make my heart go ooh woo <laughs> ah, Aren't you the cutest? Wh why are you so silent, my dear? Man. Before it was me struggling to flirt, now you're the one who's barely talking. Maybe you should take a page out of Angel Dust's book. 
I remember the first time I met him. It was like it was yesterday. <laughs> I remember. I came up to him and I asked him, "What can I do for what? No, oh, no. What was that again? Oh, I asked him, "What can you do, my effeminate fellow?" And he was like, "I can suck your dick." And I was like, "No." Ah uh, ha ha. I remember it like it was yesterday. <sighs> but all these memories are just fleeting. We must create new ones, new ones for love, for passion, for the destruction, for chaos. Ah, <laughs> uh, I hate that last word. Anyway, come give me more snuggles. I just. Can't help but miss you. Oh, my heart pounds as it ached for your comfort, for your presence, and now you're here. I could just kiss you right now if if, if my mouth was made for kissing. But anyway. not notice but while we were walking I may have um, disintegrated a couple of of um, well undesirable demons on the way don't worry nobody's gonna miss them they didn't even have families anyway <laughs> uh, uh, I've missed I've missed this so much I've missed you Heavy, holding your arm with one hand, then committing mass genocide in the other. Ah. <laughs> but maybe I ought to start holding you with both hands. Would it feel better if if you were in my warm embrace? <laughs> Is that something that you would like? <laughs> I may or may not have picked up a few tricks of seduction from Angel Dust. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you find me quite charming I hope you do <laughs> I hope you find me quite extraordinary I meant it when I said I missed you I mean I said it about a thousand times but I meant it all the same your company oh my goodness it's such a cute thing I would pinch your cheeks right now if if my hands weren't so sharp that they could rip your flesh off but anyway all I'm saying is I miss you I, I love you and oh woo. You're the one that I care about the most. Well, I care about barely anything here, so you don't have much competition anyway. Maybe the hotel is your home competition, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> ah. I am terrific, aren't I? Well, maybe dinner again? I've picked.
cooked up this amazing recipe for beef stroganoff. You should try it. Come on, let's go. Uh, let me hold your hand as we go and ride into the sunset together. Hello there. You've been the subject of my eye as of lately. To be honest, you've caught my attention. Though I suppose that's a big deal to you now, seeing as I am the infamous radio demon. Though you can call me Radio Daddy. And what can you do, my fellow? Though it's quite preposterous that you and someone like me could be together. Or maybe not. That's my sort of entertainment. Just hang around with whatever comes my way. Though you should have seen that amazing sort of project in the picture show. Did you notice it? You haven't noticed the hotel that's being shown in the pictures? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, that's quite a shame. It's quite a shame. Because I'd be delighted if you could just come on by and just swing by to that hotel because I'm shaping that place quite off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That place looked quite, quite, um, how should I say this? It was shit. Oh, you should have seen it. There was garbage everywhere. No staff, no nothing everywhere. Though you should have seen how it looks now. Quite clean after, well, not mine, but a lady's touch. Which is quite weird considering they're the people there before I came by were all ladies. So, I've cleaned the place up. I mean, I got someone to clean the place up. So you should have seen how it looks now. Jolly good, jolly good, jolly good. You'll come to the place? Ah. Now that's entertaining. Now, now, what does a demon have to do to get some grub? Would you like to get some food with me? It would be quite delightful to have you along. Unless you're the carnivorous type, I, I wouldn't consider eating someone else. I don't have the fetish for vor, if I do say so myself. So, um, maybe I, maybe I could I, I just make an adjustment, you know. Since I'm asking you to eat with me, maybe you, you have an idea what you want to eat. Perhaps. Delightful! Now, um, I guess I'm paying for everything then. If that, if that doesn't trouble you, um, would you like to do something else afterwards? You should visit the hotel. It's going to be quite entertaining to see all those poor souls trying to rehabilitate themselves, trying to be better, only for their inevitable fate to catch up upon them and just drag them down to where they belong. Um, I'm still helping out, of course. It's primarily for entertainment.
I just want to see what happens when the um, I guess I already said it. The demon tries to be a better being, and then just and then they just relapse into what they truly are. Um, you wouldn't have tried to become a better demon. That is absolutely preposterous. You. Are perfect just the way you are. There is no need to be a better or worse. Well, you could always be worse. You could always be worse. There is no need to be someone better. We're demons for Pete's sake. We are the worst of the worst. The lowest of the low. And of course, under my protection, there's no need to be worried about the cleansing. You will be safe under my arms. Under my love. Under my loving protection. Though if that bothers you, I could just, you know, leave you be here. <laughs> of course, of course, you want to be with Alistair. The radio demon. Oh, for you, it's the radio daddy. Do not fear, for I am here. I guess that's... What a different show would, you know, refer to it. Why, you should see the rest of the gang. There's Charlie, there's Vaggy, there's whatever Angel Dust is, and then there's my sweet companions and minions. You should, you should really come by. I've said that a bunch of times already, but I mean it. Radio Daddy wants you to come visit. And then maybe we could have our own sort of fun at the hotel. <laughs> Though if it bothers you too much, then I wouldn't press on. But, 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 but. It's still pretty fun to just hang around with someone like me. Why, we can go through all sorts of fun. There's murder, murder, and maybe a bit more of murder. Ha, I am quite beat. Would you like to eat something? Maybe I can eat you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not into war. But if you want to, perhaps. <laughs> I'll have you know that Radio Daddy is the king of dad jokes. So if you need anything to be turned into a ridiculous joke, just, you know, call me. By the way, did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? It was all food and no atmosphere, get it? Because... Because... The restaurant was on the moon. <laughs> I... Oh, how about this one? How about this one? Hold on. Uh, um... Wi-Fi is terrible. Ah! How do you make holy water? You boil the hell out of it! <laughs> Huzzah! What an amazing dad jokester Radio Daddy is. Perhaps next time you will avail me for your next show? If you're doing a show, maybe you can invite me for a gig. Invite me for other things as well. I'm sure Radio Daddy can do anything that you want. So don't hesitate to ask for my services.
Well, that is all. Ta-ta. See you next time. Crap. Oh, we're supposed to get food. Come on, come on. Don't be shy. Let's go and eat some grub.